Hey YouTube, this is your boy Funtime Destroyer, and welcome back to Great Battles of Medieval. Before we get started, yes, I have been gone over a month already due to a lot of stuff I had to deal with. Number one, I I did want to take a break from social media for a bit because I kind of want to focus on personal matters and things. Number two, I kind of want to focus on my relax relaxation part of it. So that's why I took a break from uploading from my video and not investing my time into it. But we are back. I have not played this game in a minute. So it's going to take me some time to actually remember of how I played this game. Well, well I, I, actually I did. I do know how to remember for this game, so. But anyway, uh, since we're playing on my new phone, there's gonna be a lot of things that's gonna look different compared to my old phone, cause my old phone actually had my old progress in it. But since I could not transfer my old progress into my new phone, now I have to start all the way over to get to the progress that we were at my old phone. But since this phone can run better, I have no worries about the space on this phone. So, we're back on Great Battles of Medieval. Last time we left off on this section with these two missions that we're going to do and we're going to cover today. So, my army is pretty stock standard. Still the same way as my last save, except for the levels are a bit different. Some of them may be now like nines or eight. My uh, freshest squads. And this is the new guy that I recruit, uh, Sir Thomas Walton. He's a two handed wielder. He's going to be a two handed wielder squad. And today we're going to do these two missions. Now, these two missions specifically, we're going to have to. Because these missions. I'm going to be more strategic based because I'm going to have to look out my army in two different areas at once. So it's going to be more difficult, basically. Uh, let's start with this mission. How y'all folks doing today? Y'all doing all right? I'm doing good too. Anyway. Um, let's, how, how did I did this? I remember putting... Let's see. Uh, get rid of this guy. Uh, who else? Put the Warhammer Bros. In there. Uh, he can go there. He can go against him. You can shoot at those guys. You can. God want them to be on defensive mode, so you can go attack them. You can attack them straight on. And you can shoot at them. And let's see. Get rid of you and replace you with him. I should get rid of you. I should get rid of you because we need Duke of York. Duke of York needs some experience. Experience. Excuse me. Experience. Oh, uh, it's who got. Oh, yeah. These are, um, these are not crossbowmen. These are, I think they're called a blisters. I think that's how you pronounce them. But these guys are basically like longbowmen, but they do more penetrable damage towards your army. So you got to be careful. When you use very heavily armed units against those guys. Because those guys can seriously, seriously break those units. Especially two wielders. Two handed wielders. We got some hobbiteers. And there's a group of knights on this side. So yeah. We got to watch both of these. Um, let's, see, let's get started. So. Actually, no. Okay. Now let's get started. Yeah, you see what I mean? Mm -mm -mm. Those are fresh troops, by the way. 
I kind of actually want to... Yeah, those guys, ooh, they breaking them. They're breaking them. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they're breaking them. I ain't tell you to tap them, fool. I told you to tap these guys. Now they're going to shoot at you. And you want to kill them. Made no dang sense. Yeah, they're getting shot. Uh, I want you to go save our buddy over there. He was at the risk of breaking. There we go. And they demolished them. Oh, they demolished them. They wiped them out. I might want to tell you. Yeah, tell them. Tell them to hurry up. Because they're going to come over here fast. Ooh, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna, yeah, I should have paid attention to that, see, you gotta monitor, you gotta monitor both sides, you gotta monitor your rear, when you, uh, doing those things, oh, those lances, oh, they're gonna break them, oh, they're going to break them, I pretty much told them to go in attack mode, so they're, actually, they hold quite firmly, and I'm just gonna use this tactic to get actually get rid of these guys. Oh shoot, they can't. What you call? They can't really do that. And they're not actual foot knights. Foot knights will make that strategy more effective. And we lost our buddy back there. I am going to tell him to attack those guys. We're gonna win because um, they keep routing, which is I want from the start anyway. It's not like I want to keep them in battle in the first place. Actually, go attack. Oh, I can't tell them to attack right there. Yeah, we're going to win. Yeah, they they just... They, yeah, they gave up. And we can just do the whole trap thing right here. Where I go right there, tell him to go right there, and he can go kill them. And there we go. That was the battle of... Battle of... That was the night attack of mission. And we got the bad luck card, 200 gold, and we killed nearly almost in, uh, almost all of them. Uh, frankly, no one did not level it up. Hmm. What a shame. No one did not level it up from that mission. Well, I guess we can see if we get them level up on the next mission. So anyway, this is the. This is the ninth chapter of the English campaign, and this is the battles of whatever that's called, but I can't really pronounce that. And we need to get tactics for my general. Tactics right here. This ability, so that way we get more battle cards available on our card selection. But this is the battle of whatever it is, and... It's not a famous battle, because if it was a famous battle, I would have knew it from the top of my head, but it's not a famous battle. It's one, the, it's one of those basic battles that the English had to go through to fight against the French. So, anyway, let's jump into it. When nations do collide, all manner of hostilities occur. Great tales are told of gargantuan encounters when many tens of thousands crash against each other like tidal waves of rival seas. But then, too, there are smaller clashes, quick skirmishes, exchanges fast to burn and fast to end. Though tales may not be told of such miniature adventures, be in no doubt that death looms no less large for all who fight. were surprised whilst escorting wagons loaded with supplies.
Although no lands were at stake, the safety of those wagons was cause enough to fight. I did not mean to do that. Um, uh, here we go. All right, this is the battle of odds. I think not odds, but I can't pronounce it because it's actually have the keywords A R in it, like arc or arch, like something like that. But it has a D, so I don't know how that's pronounced. But we're gonna go with it. Anyway, uh, this is the battle. This is where my army has to split into two. So, I might as well get everything started from here. And tell my army to pretty much get prepared for this epic battle that we finna have. And he can go. I can tell him to go right there. You can switch places with him. You can switch places with that yes, guy, and right there. So, hold on, I gotta get everything sorted out. Right there, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right there. Um, let's see what yes, else. Yes, sir. You go up, oh, not not examine, it's not examining them yet. There we go, and there we go. Okay, so now let's examine them. So we got a, a pretty large patrol French over here. This is like their main force. So it's a very stock standard French, heavily armed French army. And we got some, um, some sneak attackers over here who are wanting to take out the wagons for themselves so we got some men in arms some spearmen some light infantry or light axemen crossbows light infantry and mounted men all <sighs> we got some mountain men in arms And yeah, let's just hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta tell them. I gotta give commands out. You know, don't you do not want to start a battle without giving commands out to your arm, to your army, um, properly. I'm gonna tell these guys to march. Yeah, actually, tell I'm gonna tell them to switch places because they're actually gonna. He's actually gonna get shot at them. And yeah, they could just pretty much move. All right, let's get this battle started. All right, so here comes the first wave of knights. They're about to charge in quickly. I'm pretty much gonna tell them. Yeah, make sure you shoot at them. I want you to go attack those guys, not them. There we go. All right, they go to Epic Clash, and let's tell them to attack. Tell them to attack those guys. Well, he's gonna automatically attack them. You could shoot at them. They're not really important. This guy is gonna be a pain for all I know. Yeah, go shoot at them. They're gonna move in. They're gonna march in slowly. And where is the cavalry? The cavalry over here. I don't know if they're gonna come or not. I think they're gonna come. Yeah, there they go. They're gonna come. Uh, tell them the. 
March on this side. There we go. Tell them to fall back. I actually want to tell these guys to shoot at him. Alright, there we go. Alright, here we go. Making some progress. Alright. Um. Alright, they just broke them. That's good. And they broke them. Alright, sweet, the wagons are safe now, and they're going to finish those guys off completely. I would like to tell them to shoot at them, not to really get up close and personal. And they're pretty much going to handle those, uh, axemen over there. Alright, there we go. We completely broke them, and now, I'm going to tell one of them to go help the forces down here. Tell them that they need support from those French, uh, amb ambushers. I think that's what they call them. Those guys are going to be a serious pack, because they do not play. Alright, there we go. Both armies clash. Look at my axemen go. They just... They, my, my infantry is just too well trained. Against these weak, so-called heavily armed troops. Alright. They're going to move up here. I'm going to tell them to go up here real quick. Pretty much to safe for my safety. They're going to shoot at the wagon. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about them trying to kill the wagon. Not kill the wagon. They uh, attacking the wagon. I mean, that's what I meant. They're still going to shoot out the wagon, so I'm not really key on. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Another safety net down with the wagons. Alright, time to go back to the main army. So, the main army is now underhanded. Go attack them, because they're going to do some serious damage. You can go help. Go help him. Yeah, they're... Oh, yeah, they butchering them, too. Oh, those guys came back? Don't tell me y'all attacking them. Oh. Attack my swordsmen or something. Go attack them. There we go. Stop trying to attack my other guys. My Warhammer uh, archers, they're ripping them apart. And I guess we gotta deal these last batch of troops. That's over here sitting at the far back. Right here. Those guys. Pretty much gotta deal with them and that's pretty much the end of the battle. They're still holding on firmly. I mean, look at them go. They just they just have a strong will fighting. See, this this was this was this was clash. This is this was fighting back in the day. In the medieval arrows. These strong will men by my side. These these guys put an effort. Of dying for their country. Alright, there. Oh, yeah. Alright, there we go. Uh, y'all better kill them before they kill you. Did they kill y'all? That's pretty much it. And my guys are fully fresh now. We pretty much moved them up. Blocked this uh, French. 
these French soldiers sitting at the back for them. Pretty much blocked a aerial view. And yeah, that's pretty much the last set of forces, French forces fighting against their own will. They're about to break. Oh yeah, yep. You can go deal with them. Those guys can deal with them. I don't know when they going to attack. They're probably going to attack right now. Because my wagons are moving Lee up. Then I knew it. So I was like, my wagons are moving a little bit further up. Tell those guys to attack them. Because why not? They're shooting at them, but they pretty much got that last guy on lockdown. Yep. And they're nearly dead. They're nearly dead. Yeah, they're nearly dead. All of them. And that's the battle. I'm probably going to let them finish the fight out. Yeah, there we go. Alright, there we go. Tell them. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they... Yeah, they just... I'm gonna let them finish it out. Yeah, look at them. <laughs> they, they can't survive. It's three... It's three against two squads now. They're probably inefficient at fighting because my guys got, yeah, they died. They got wiped out. That's pretty much the entire French army. Nearly all, oh, there were 10 of them left. We got 400 gold. We nearly killed all of them, and we lost 75 troops against a very, and we were heavily outnumbered too. Look at the number of troops we have. That's nearly half of our army that we just lost. And we still put up a good fight. Alright. Wow, he leveled up quick. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at you. Uh, he leveled up fast. Uh, I guess I can give him four, four setting. Um, Ford and... Over here. Alright, there we go. Alright. Sir Thomas level 5. Nice. And the next set of missions are assassinate the nobleman at the same area for some reason. And the Battle of Monar. Mon um Maynard or Monar. I don't know. And it's from Brittany. Alright, so yeah. Pretty much gonna call it today's episode. Um, and today was fun to be honest. To be honest with y'all. Hope y'all. I guess I'll call it quits. So, if you're new, feel free to subscribe to the channel and help me help my channel grow and support. Uh, be sure the like button if you enjoy the video to see more content like this. Stay safe. I love y'all. Hope y'all have a good day. And I hope this made y'all in a better mood. So, yeah. Alright. Fontana Shore signing out. Bye.